Hi and welcome to this Landworks CAD tutorial. My name is Sedra and today I'm going to show you how to insert plant regions in Landworks CAD. So the first thing that we need to do is to insert a plane in the area where we need to insert the plant region. So to start with, I have this area on which I would like to insert a plant region and I have already inserted a plane on this area that you can see here and this plane is white in color. Now in order to insert a plant region here, I'm going to go to this option that says insert proposed plant. I'm going to select this option here and I will be able to see all the plants here in the database. Now in the search field, I can just click any search field through which I want to insert a specific plant. I want to see the types of grass that we have in the database so I have written down grass here and clicked on search and that is how I can see all the grass types in my database. So I'm going to select a specific kind of grass, maybe this one and I'm going to change the diameter to 200 because I want this plant to appear a little bit smaller in size. Now I'm going to click on region and here I will be able to see all the four kinds of plant regions. So first I'm going to show you how to use the ground cover option. So I'm going to select it. We select the ground cover option when we want to grow a certain plant over an area of ground. The most widespread ground covers are grasses of various types so that is why I selected the grass. Now as you can see that all these other options have been grayed out so I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to follow the prompt that says select plane to insert plants. So I'm going to select the plane here and it's going to show me a dialog box that says planting data for that particular plant was applied to this plane. So I'm going to click OK. And now if I just double click on this plane, I will be able to see the planting data that says the region area is 16 square meters. It says the botanical name and the pattern type which is the ground cover. Now one thing that we have to keep in mind is that whenever we select the ground cover option, we won't be able to see the plants. So we can always change the type of plane that we have and give it a green color so that you can get to know that there is some kind of grass planted in that area. Now I'm going to go to the insert proposed plant option again and from here region I'm going to select the second option that says square planting. In square planting your plants are going to appear aligned in lines. This option is however different as you can change the spacing between the plants as well and you can see that this option has been activated. Now I will just enter the spacing between the plants as 400 and I'm going to check this option that says insert actual figures so that I will be able to see my plants here. I'm going to select OK and going to follow the prompt that says select plane to insert the plants. So I'm going to click here and that's when it shows a dialog box and asks me whether I want to replace the kind of plant region that I've already inserted in this area. So I'm going to click on replace and now if I just click outside I will be able to see my plants. As you can see that these square plants are appearing in aligned lines. Now I can just select any kind of plant and delete it. But before deleting it I'm just going to double click and I'm going to read the planting data that says the plant count is 105. So I'm just going to check if I delete one of the plants here will the plant count be still 105? So I'm going to double click and I can see that the plant count is still the same. So now we know that even if we delete one of the plants, the plant count is going to remain the same. Now I'm going to click on the insert proposed plant option and from here I'm going to select the third option that says offset planting. If I select this option, I will be able to see that I can still change the plant spacing and the insert actual plant figure is checked. Now I'm going to click OK and I'm going to replace the plane. So I'm going to follow the prompt, click on the plane, click on replace. I will be able to see that the plants are aligned in offset rows. So this kind of planting is called the offset planting. 
Now I'm going to select the fourth option. So I'm going to go to insert proposed plants again, region. And now I'm going to select this fourth option. That is the random planting option. In random planting, plants appear randomly across the planting region based on the randomized value. It means that this randomized value is going to be added or subtracted from the plant spacing value. So let's say if it's being added, the plant spacing value would be 500. And if it's being subtracted, the plant spacing value would be 300. So in random planting, all the plants will be spaced either 300 millimeters or 500 millimeters apart. So I'm going to see that by just clicking OK and replacing the plant region here. See, so some of the plants are 500 millimeters apart and some of the plants are just 300 millimeters apart. So this is why it's called random planting. Now I'm going to show you how to label this plant region. So I'm going to click on this label proposed plant option and I'm going to click on this label option here and you will see that if I click on the plane, it is going to show me an error that says only planes without actual plants can be labeled. Select a plant figure instead. Now this means that I have to uncheck the option that says insert actual figure. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the insert proposed plant options again, click on region and from here I'm going to uncheck this option that says insert actual figures. And I'm going to click OK and replace the plant region here. Now if I double click on this part, I won't be able to see the plants but I will be able to see the planting data that says that the plant count is 102 and gives all the information about these kind of plants. Now, as you can see that there is also this hide actual plants option here in this dialog box. So if I check or uncheck this option, I will be able to see or hide my plants. Now I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to try to label this part again. So I'm going to click on label and now I'm going to follow the prompt that says locate the entity to label. So I'm going to locate the entity and now it says locate the start of the leader. So click, click, click. So it is going to show me that there are 102 plants that are planted here. But I can't see the plants. So if you still want to see the plants and label them, there is another way of doing that. So I'm going to click here and delete this label. Now as I want to see my plants, I will just double click on this plane and I will be able to see the option that says show actual plants. So you can either check or uncheck this option if you want to see or hide your plants. So I'm going to check this option here and I'm going to click OK and that is how I will be able to see the plants again. Now let's say that I want to select all the plants here so as you can see that the plane is also getting selected. Now there is a workaround for this. If I go to the entity mask option here and uncheck all the boxes from here and only check the components box here, click OK so if I drag and try to capture the plants, I will be able to select all the plants here. Now if I go to the label option and try to label one more time, it says locate the start of the leader. So I'm going to click here, click, click and I will be able to label all my plants. Now I can go back to the entity mask and make sure that all these options are checked again. Click OK. I can just click on these lines and press the delete button on the keyboard to delete them. So this is how you can insert a plant region. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to send an email to me or comment on the videos. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.